so I would, that was my main food while I was down there. They had a, a young baby, it was a, a couple that had their first child, and they, they had fed their baby, and they, they were getting ready to put it down for the night, and I, and I was drinking my yogurt, and I just saw something in the little infant's eyes, you know, too, way too young to talk, verbalize his thoughts. And I could just see him looking at that yogurt, so he was intrigued by my big shiny jug of yogurt. And, and uh, so I suggested, I said, but well, you want to let the baby try a little bit of this? Oh, no, no. At first they were just kind of being polite, and I thought, I, he really looks like he wants it. And uh, they said, oh, no, he's full, he just ate. He's, he's had all he needs. I said, well, let's just give him a taste, see, see if he likes it. And for some reason, I just was really interested in having this baby try out my yogurt. I figured that'd be a good candidate. Uh, but I, I said, actually, I wasn't thinking that much about it. It's just sort of like a passing whim. But when that baby had the first bite of that, he just got crazy. Ah! He wanted that so much. And, I, and the parents like, Wow, he really likes that, doesn't he? Like, well, I'm not sure, but I think that's what he said. And, and so he took it away, and he wanted more, and they, and they kept feeding it, and he kept eating more and more, and, they, and the parents were both like, they couldn't believe what they were seeing, but they're the ones that know the child. I didn't know what they said. First of all, they said he had all he wanted, he was completely full, and he wouldn't be interested anyway. Nah, not that homemade weird goat yogurt that you have. That baby, but to me, as a scientist, you know, like when, when he, he, he wasn't thinking, should I eat this or should I not eat this? You know, he was just going with his instinct of his taste. His, and, and just when he tasted that real food, he was crazy about it.